We are live. We are live, guys. Welcome to your number one banter. You guys good? What was that, Joe? Why are you slapping the thing, bro? What's he doing, fam? What are you doing? What is that? Doing the intro. This is your. This is you guys' thoughts, you know, gassing them up. You just all this. <laughs> what is that, fam? What's going on today on Nerd Band? We've got. Black Panther destroys every record. Every, every, like every record. Like every there's no, record. There's no record to say. It creates like, new records. That, I like that. I like exactly. that. That was actually legit. I'm Joe, one further to the And I'm Raven the GS. I'm Sam Mr. Bliss. I totally forgot to do that. Thanks for No, it's all right. Me. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> and then we also got Aquaman gets positive reviews for his early screening. No comment. And we also got Josh Whedon is... He leaves Batgirl or was he forced to go away from Batgirl? From Hell, I drop. No, that is actually the correct response to that. Hell, I drop. Um, that's mad. That's actually mad. Ooh. All right, sorry. Oh, that's that's the damn nerd better. Let's so, start with the record breaking stuff then. Record breaking. Record shattering. I feel. I feel like. Are you gonna handle this? I think you should. You know? Why? I mean, you're wearing a Black Panther shirt, you know, get me. Wakanda so, forever. this is not my week doing this show. What kind oh. of answer is that? That's, that's, I'm just over here looking fresh <laughs> my t-shirt on, man. But, um, so we're talking about records. records. Now, I didn't even know about these records. Um, like, did they, I didn't even know they were like records like that. Like, since when do we have... What are you like, doing? What are you talking about? There's records for, listen. Like... Like, I, yeah, like, okay, if you break a record of something like, you know, like, box office and all that, but, like, I'm looking at this, I'm like, I've never heard of these records ever before. Is this, like, a new thing we're doing in 2018? Or it's just Black Panther thing, just, yo. Fam, these records are here, and Black Panther's just broken all of them. That's it. Usually they get broken, like, a movie here breaks it, then another movie breaks it. It's not usually that one movie is just, just like, takes I'm going to take everything. Take everything. <laughs> then, yeah. All so right, get cool. So, and then some. Yeah. Um, so the first we're going to start off with, the highest rated superhero movie. On Rotten Tomatoes. On Rotten Tomatoes. It's currently sitting at a 97%. That should have got like 100 there has to be one hit though. There has to be that one hit. Oh, okay. It has to be one. Yeah. No, I'm actually listen. <clears throat> I'm actually upset with this ninety seven percent rating, fam. Why is that? Like, why? Why is it at ninety seven percent, fam? Because critics say you should go watch it. You should go watch it. Yeah. It, I don't know. I don't know. All right, cool. No, go on, go on, go on. Express yourself, man. No, because some put some put us extinguished my whole fire <laughs> quickly, and obviously the way Rotten Tom- Tomatoes works is it's just got to be fresh or rotten so if you think yeah i've rated it fresh you should go watch the movie mm. then yeah so then i then my question is why is it not 100 because there's that one hater mm. it's cool because obviously if you're just doing a normal rating scale like a normal rating scale like how good is this movie on the scale of one right. to 100 i don't think it's a 97 mm. but that's not how rotten tomato works that's what my issue was do you know what uh, i'm saying i see Get see me. i don't i don't really follow uh, them things to be honest, I don't. So I don't really follow Rotten Tomatoes really either how. because I think the scale that you're talking about is Metacritic. They do eighty. I think they want eighty eight percent. No, theirs is on eighty nine. Oh, is it? Ooh. It's like eighty eight, eighty nine, which I'm okay with. Yeah, see, yeah. I feel like that's like a score in one to ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm cool with the Metacritic score of, of um, eighty nine or eighty eight, whatever it is. Okay. But uh, the whole Rotten Tomato, well, ninety seven. Yeah, it's fresh. It's very it's fresh. fresh. Very fresh. Straight out of Wakanda. Yeah. Yeah. Pound and yam and them things there, yeah? Right. There's no pound and jam in Wakanda. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> read, the, read, the, read, the, read the rest of the... Uh, the All right, thing, so... Uh, oh, well, this one we already knew, which was the ticket pre-sales. Can I, can I help you out? Can you just, just read all of them? Oh, you just want me to... Just, just read all of them. I'll like talk everything. about it. All right, we'll cool. So you've got the ticket pre-sales uh, on all superhero movies. Um, IMAX ticket pre-sales as well. Done that. Uh, sets February... Um, was that Thursday night preview rec- record? Opening day gross tops non team up movies sets February opening weekend record. The highest opening for an African American director. 
and then we go on to the week. Now this is this is new to me. This is like super creating records. Like, Look, like, come on, this I is do just, this. Like, this is raising the bar. Now. I like yeah. this. I like mm-hmm. this. So, sets the bo- uh, record for uh, Monday box office. Right. Tuesday box office. Okay. Wednesday. Thursday. What? Then it goes into the MCU highest grossing first week. So basically. You don't even go into like Friday anymore. You just mm, you just just skip that. You got it. Mm, you sure take it. Eh. All right, and is the and ends up being the highest MCU um, second week. So not only the first week. Goes on to the second week. I see. The thing that's so, interesting about this is we haven't reached a third week yet. Oh, so, so it's probably gonna get by next week. We might have probably, another one. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, just yeah. crazy records, man. And wait, and wait. Uh, he hasn't come out until next month in certain parts no of Asia. Way. So yeah. that might set another record as well. So places like uh, Indonesia. Uh, I can't remember and other places. Yes, yeah, it still hasn't come out. So hold on to your seats. There's more ways to come. I don't know. Like I feel like we spoke a lot about Black Panther, but like it deserves all of these things. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like culturally, it's done a whole thing. The movie's super legit as well. Which that's the. I think I'm happy with both of these things mm-hmm. because I feel like it's done what Wonder Woman tried to do. Mm-hmm. Tried to be a cultural hit and a good movie, but failed with being a good movie. Black Panther, success being a good nice. movie, success with the cultural impact thing. So I think that's good. And big props to Ryan Coogler for, what was it? Biggest opening for an African-American director. Uh, good job. We need more of that, please. Absolutely. Get more, me. More, more, more fire. More everything in life. More fire. But, uh, more fire. That's it, I mean, I don't, we don't really have anything else to say. Uh, are you guys surprised? with this no no because from the time they started saying the pre-sales that they were banging on about mm-hmm. that a lot for what, almost a month how it reached like 200 million pre-sale tickets i was like right this thing's <laughs> going to destroy the the box office the in re- a phenomenal way the reason that i'm not surprised is because <clears throat> when you have a big blockbuster movie that is aimed at a demographic that usually don't get big blockbuster movies specifically tailor built for them Mm -hmm. this is what would happen right do you know what i'm saying and this is not just like it for being for black people or whatever like if you did this kind of movie in an in an asian country or an indian country like a big block budget like like aladdin Mm -hmm. like if aladdin comes out and demographically they do it right do you know what i'm saying like in the right place with the right kind of people it should do something like this as well Mm. do you get what i'm saying Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. like that's a whole bunch of people that are represented in their own like bollywood is a big thing but not in the mainstream like it's they've never been they've never had like a bollywood type movie put out mainstream and that's what aladdin should be do you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm saying so so that should do something like that as well even like the mulan movie like movies like that like all of these kind of movies should do like crazy good if they're done with the same kind of care and thought and like process that Black Panther went through, so I, I, to me, I'm not surprised at all. I, like, I'm surprised it's not breaking even more records. Like, probably will. Uh, yeah, it will. Yeah, it probably will. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I think it's just, it's just, it's the first. I think this is the first wave of, or, you know, of this tsunami, really mm. and truly, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's just, just, just the way it is. First and second week, you know. Yeah, first and second and. To be honest, I think this is gonna carry on for at least for another month. Just, just yeah, listen. Just this going. is gonna carry on until, until Infinity War. <laughs> I'm gonna say the same thing. Like when Infinity oh. War comes out, all of these records, except for like the African American ones, because obviously mm. the Russo brothers are not African American. Mm. All of these are gonna get washed away, washed away. Because you know who's gonna go and watch Infinity War? The whole galaxy. Like the Chitauri mm. are gonna be at IMAX cinemas watching this movie on Earth. Massive like, Chitauri. It's mad. Mm. But it's do, gonna do be you, mm, Okay. Mm. What? 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 What was you gonna say? You was gonna try and rebuttal what I'm no, saying? No, I was just gonna. I was just gonna ask. Um, what is so Infinity War is gonna be bigger than this? If, let me like, t- let me also tell you why Infinity War is gonna be bigger than this year. Because everyone who just saw Black Panther <laughs> yes. 
knows that yeah. Black Panther's in Infinity War. Why do you think in the Infinity War trailer they're running with all the Wakandans behind them? Right. They're like, Black Panther's going to be a big hit. Right. Now, in the trailer, we're going to show that a lot of this is happening in Wakanda. So they can this is, bring this that. is part two, five months. Like, right. right when the Black Panther wave is going to start to dip in like four, like in like three months, you're going to be like, that, that's Black Panther. And that movie's coming out tomorrow. Mm. Mm. We there. Mm. We are there. Mm. Fam. Black Ooh. Infinity War, I said it here first, breaking all the records, all the belts, all the records. Shout out to man like Jumro. I'm <laughs> going to see on the other side of the ring. I'm oh, going to see it. Um, I, I, I personally think it's going to be uh, a better movie than, than we're not talking the about, thing. We're not talking but, about movie quality. Let's talk about but, money. Yeah, I've seen You think Infinity War... I'm on the other side. I'm on the other side. I'm on the other side. I don't think it'll have as much impact as this had. What we took? You're like talking about, they, we're talking about money. We're talking money, about money. Money. I'm I'm sitting on this side. I, that, that, that's what me, I feel. That's let me break it. Let me break it down to you. Go on. Go to our YouTube channel. Uh-huh. Yeah? <laughs> and our YouTube channel is the Cyber Nerds Box Office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Black Panther trailer reaction. Mm-hmm. Hundred and something K views. Mm-hmm. Infinity War trailer reaction, three hundred and something k views. Yeah, less, and that's just that's how it's that's how it's gonna oh, be. Okay. I'm listen. I'm putting it out there. It's calm. It's cool. Uh, that's cool. Well, we'll see when. Bro, you when you lose back. to me at this box office thing all of the time. I don't think you've ever beat me at this box office game. Let's do a bet. Let's do a bet. Oh, do a bet. What do you want to bet? Uh, bottle of JD honey. Oh, that sounds nice. Boom. They, like one liter. One liter. Blah. One Boom. liter. Guys, who do you think is going to win? Wait, I win, I get rum, not honey. All right, cool, that's fine. Uh, guys, that's good, that good stuff Whatever well. you want, whatever you want, send, right. me the, send me the name. Right. Guys, who do you think is going to win in a box office battle, Infinity War, Black Panther, comment section below. Sam, sorry, back to you. No, you don't want to jump on this? He no. don't want no part of this. No part. He already owes me a video game because hey. he thinks I'm going to buy a Battlefront. <laughs> you're, you're done. I did it on purpose to make you have a better gaming experience. You get me? Like, I want that for you. Oh, my God. So, you gonna... haven't played Horizon. Don't talk to me about games. Exactly. Jesus. Back, back logging that, back logging back, that. I'm just <laughs> saying. There's yeah. all games. You ain't... Anyway, there's you all see games. The Daniel, <laughs> you see the Daniel around just putting them guys. <laughs> He still hasn't played Horizon. I just throws you though. I know it's ha! I know. The way he does it. Ha! Just, yeah, are you feeling like Killamonger right now with a shank in your chest? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I've got oh, stitches. I've got stitches. you got oh, too much. Oh, All right. Go ahead, go ahead. So, What's the next topic? I was about to say, we're done with this. So, Aquaman. Mm. Oh, we're going to talk about Aquaman first, yeah. Aquaman. Uh, mm. yeah. Man of Aqua. Yeah. Water. Yeah, and the man of aqua h2o mm. man mm. H2- all right come on this is what we do so aquaman so some couple of people insiders they got invited to an early screening mm-hmm. very early screening very early. yeah because what this movie comes in november yeah. we're, we're in february it comes out in this de- comes out december so 20 something. end of the year so like five months like five it's five months we're in february it's yeah. like 10 months Oh, yeah. This man's already in yeah. Infinity War, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's in Infinity yeah. War time. No, seven months, yeah, seven months, yeah. That's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're in February. We're in the second month of the year. It yeah. comes out in December. Oh, ten oh December? That's ten, I you meant September. That's ten months oh, away. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you meant September. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So, they got a very early screening, and almost all of them, in fact, I don't think there's even one that says that they didn't have a bad experience. Everyone's saying the movie's good. But my question is that how much of the movie did they see? Because I'm pretty sure they're still filming Black Matter parts. No, no, f- filming's wrapped. It's done. Yeah, filming's wrapped. Oh, so it's like proper production now. Fil- filming's filming's wrapped. So from the report I read, filming's wrapped, mm. and they watched the early version version of cut, the movie. Cut. No, 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 the whole version of the movie. Uh-huh. Mm. But it's like <clears throat> like visual effects and stuff like that wasn't complete. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like you know when you're seeing them. And there's, you, the wires you are still, still there wires and, and stuff like, like that. Okay. So they said it was it was like that. Now I heard I think I read some of the quotes from like people's reviews, and someone was like, "Star Wars in water." Um, someone else was like, "Star 
Wars in wartime. Like, because you know, Star Wars is like a universe. Yeah. So, like, maybe they're thinking like, oh, there's like a oh, whole universe the, of stuff. Yeah, okay. okay. I, I, I didn't really get the quote. I didn't really get uh-huh. it either. But I was just trying to put it together for them. Mm. They were saying that. They were just saying it's fun, action-filled stuff like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Fun. Get me. So you don't wanna, you don't like, what? Do, me, what do you guys? What do you guys? Like for me, it kind of does sound like that's how it should be because the director James Wong, I've really have been disappointed by any of his productions. So, what movie has he been? Has he the been? Conjuring. He done the Conjuring universe. Yeah. Oh, and he's done something else. I think Fast and Furious movies. He done. I think he's done one of them. Is, it one, is that one or two of them? But yeah. yeah, he has been involved in that franchise. And those movies that he's done, they've been captivating. Again, fun and engaging so for me i'm not see but i'm i'm, I'm not um, gonna be like oh, he's I'm he's a legit director yeah, okay. like like let's just get that out there straight okay. he's a legit director mm-hmm. like his movies are good he makes like good hot like the conjuring like he brought horror back for like, a little i didn't bit. i didn't you know really I, I didn't really watch the so conjuring there's that. Like so, that so he I'm, also he also like built like like the, that whole conjuring universe so basically I don't know if I, do I have to explain the whole Conjuring thing? Yeah, because I didn't watch it. So I mean, there's a movie called The Conjuring. Yeah. It's really good. It's a yeah. horror movie. But it also splits off into like other movies about things that are connected into that. So right. it's in its own shared kind of universe. Right. So he's good at that kind of, that stuff. Kind of stuff. Also, like in Warner Brothers, the executive of that Conjuring thing is the guy who just got hired. I can't remember his oh, name. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the guy... So obviously people are like, oh, maybe there's a connection with James Wan doing a thing and now The Conjuring overseer being in DC or mm. Warner Brothers. Mm. Anyway, so like that's every, that's not, dis- that's no one's disputing about James Wan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Go on, finish your... Well, I was just saying that, you know, you, you mentioned movie being fun. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by fun? Fun as in like, I'm going to have fun seeing all the deaths I'm supposed to see and all the OD and all the the, the savagery uh, savage I'm, I'm supposed to to see in in the in Atlantis and I didn't say there's no Winter Soldier that's what I'm saying I didn't say that <coughs> I, I actually not early screening they said it was fun I'm saying maybe you're having a good time watching the movie because if we're talking you know, about Little Mermaid then we're going to have wow, a little, man, a little problem if we're that. talking about that kind of I feel like what Raven's got a Raven issue right now <laughs> Like, no, because, man, I'm, 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 I'm actually quite passionate about. This is DC we're talking moment. about. You think they're gonna be be making a Little Mermaid? If nah, li- okay. Are you, can I? Let me jump. Let me ahead, dive in ahead, here. Now, on what Raven's talking about, yeah, I feel him. I feel your pain, but like, I think they could have lots of people dying. And it still be a fun movie because it's made by James Wan, and one of his Fast and Fu- Furious movies was pretty good. Mm. Like, I don't think it's gonna be as dark as we would like, because remember, Zack Snyder's gone, and mm-hmm. what they try to do to Justice League, they try to make it fun and happy and bright and that. Do you know what I'm saying? But I still think, I still think we can get a good action, a still Aquaman movie mm. with that. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, when I think of like the Jeff Johns run. It's fun. It's a fun mm-hmm. run. Mm-hmm. It's not super dark, but it's got mm-hmm. dark elements. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So that doesn't throw me off. Mm-hmm. Nothing that I've heard like from the reviews throw me off. This is what throws me off here. Yeah. I remember, mate, it might have been two or three years ago, Batman vs Superman was coming out. And this report came out that the movie got a standing ovation Shut at an early up. screening. You don't remember this? No. No. Nope. So... This is what this is what worries me, yeah. That this is just another Warner Brothers ploy to, to try and spin the narrative. Like, okay, sales. we're we're finished with Aquaman. Let's just have a couple people see it. They're gonna say it's good, and now we're gonna start the positive hype train for Aquaman. Now, I'll be I'll be cool with that, but I'll be cool if it's real. I'm not cool if this is just them trying to spin media attention like Justice League's out boom focus on Aquaman now now question um, I haven't seen any of these reports as you guys know I don't really follow news like because I'm not really into that that's not my thing but again that um, the, the, the these reports you read you guys read is it like how sustainable is it like 
you know, if you know these people, like how how sustainable? Like see, how okay? See, this is the thing, yeah. It's not from like critics, like real verified critics and stuff like that. Mm. It's just from people who went to see the movie. Like no one's named and no one's saying, "Oh yeah, right, I saw it." And no one. It's none of that. It's mm. just this person said this. This person said that. So I don't know how credible the whole thing is as a whole, fam. And this is why I'm saying, like, because it's to me, it sounds like DC, like Warner Brothers propaganda, innit? Because to me, to be honest with you, when 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 this came onto the table, I was like, wait, when's this movie supposed to come out? <laughs> and you're already trying to kind of build a buzz around it. And let's be honest, with all the buzz that's going around right now, we could easily forget about DC completely, completely dismiss DC, and and. Then come the end of the year, it's like, well, we've spent all the money on something else. Now, do I really want to go and watch a DC movie? And the sales kind of drops. Which, don't get me wrong, marketing-wise, business-wise, don't get me wrong. I understand that and tell what you're doing. But as a fan, if you're trying to pull a fast one on me, mate, you got another thing coming. Like they're, they're in like a, like a really, like they're against the ropes. Like Their last movie tanked. Didn't do so well at the box office. When you think about it, who's going to go see the next DC movie, right? Everyone. I mean, we have Every to. We world. have to watch it. No, Otherwise, how can we... Like, the general, like, we are because we're we fans. We are because but fans. the general exactly. public, like, they keep hearing bad movie, bad movie. And if they hear, like, the fans say bad movie, then again, it's going to be Man, like, a wrap for them, isn't it's, it? Like, it's, 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 and it's, obviously, their movie's all the way at the end of the year. So, like, now will be... If they haven't got a trailer like, set, which is kind of strange anyway, because... Well, usually like six months before it, no, it, 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 it depends. It depends. And uh, that's what I mean. Like, so, you want to keep the hype flowing. Like, this is like your only movie for the whole year. Like, Marvel's got Black Panther just dropped, all these records just got broken. Mm -hmm. When you go see Black Panther, you're already seeing the trailer for the next movie. Right. Not only that, you got Deadpool dropping, mm -hmm. you got Dark Phoenix dropping, mm -hmm. you got all these Marvel movies. You keep like, you're see? against the tide con constantly. So, they're also like trying to make Aquaman, but then next year they're trying to get Shazam. That's like one movie a year. You know what? It's I'm, like, you're against the ropes. you got to do everything you can to make sure your thing don't tank any more than it is. It's, it's such a sensible time for DC. And I know, you know, we joke, we joke a lot and we throw, you know, uh, we throw shades at them and everything. But I'm actually scared. I'm actually scared as a, as a fan that this movie's going to... Think about it. If Batman v Superman tanked, right? Batman not not Justice, uh, Justice League. League tanked. Like... <clears throat> See, I'm I, like I'm. It's I'm it's, it's so it's so it's so sen sens sensitive that it's like man, like the next few months gonna be really really critical for you, and the trailers that you need to push out, like, because otherwise, I mean, do do we know how much was the budget for this movie? Bro, I'm no, no, no not yet because obviously it's still not finished. But no. right, <clears throat> there's two there's two things I want to touch on. One, this early screening. It's 10 months away. So, the movie they just watched, yeah, mm -hmm. could be a 100% James Wan movie. Mm -hmm. By December... Oh. Well, I, I'm just saying, I'm just yeah, putting it out there. Yeah, By December, yeah. it could be 50% James Wan, 50% the, 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 the board of directors. We've seen movie. it happen. We've and that's Justice happen. League. Uh, so, so, do you know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's one thing I'm sceptical about. Mm -hmm. The next thing is, like, if I'm James Wan or whoever's in control over there... I'm like, yo, we are on military silence right now. Like, no, like we shouldn't even be talking about DC right now. Mm -hmm. Like, DC should be like, let Marvel shoot all the bullets they've got right now. Let them blow up with Black Panther, blow up with Infinity Four, blow up with Ant-Man and the Wasp. Keep it dead. There's this time of the year that comes around every year, not Christmas. It's called Comic-Con, mm. yeah? At Comic-Con, it'll be July. Six months away from the movie. Mm -hmm. This is how you spin the narrative. You go Comic Con and you just drop the best trailer. Like if they drop a banging Aquaman trailer at Comic Con, Justice League will be forgotten, fam. I listen, it will be forgotten. Yeah. And the biggest the, the biggest issue with Justice League, yeah, was that the movie was crap. <laughs> if the move like, if Justice League was good. People go see it. It wouldn't have tanked. Mm. The movie tanked because it's dead. Because the first person to go see it said, "Raw, 
This is garbage. <laughs> Word of mouth. And told everyone that, yo, that's, it's, that's it's garbage, man. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. But you get into Hall H, fam, and you we've seen it happen before. You go to Hall H, bro. What did Deadpool do the year it dropped this trailer in Hall H, fam? It was a wrap. It was a wrap. Even Wonder Woman killed that in Hall H when it dropped the trailer. If Aquaman drops a banging trailer, I think all Justice League's issues go out the window. Well, and they can drop a good trailer. Like, yeah, like, yeah, the first, yeah. The, the weekend don't do well. You can drop a, the I'm, best I'm, trailer you want. Yeah, like, I'm not talking, at the end of the day, the movie's still got to be a great movie. No, but I'm, I'm not talking about the quality of the movie. I'm just talking about you're saying that the general audience. That's how you get the general audience to right. go. Mm. You drop a good trailer, everyone's talking about it, it, then you're going to go. Then it's up to you to, pro- to deliver on the trailer, mm. isn't it? But when you really think about it, like how good were the Justice League trailers? They like they was all right. They were all right. They was all right. You hyped? I wanted to see it. Uh, Bro, you like, was already hyped. I think I think you was already hyped. Yeah, I think yeah, it was more like Flash that kind of got. It was. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so, I, right, I think there's opportunity for Aquaman to be successful. Like, I'm not talking about blowing the doors off money wise, but I think it could be a successful movie. But the issue is that comes out, and then what's happening for the next years after that? Do they even know? I don't know. <laughs> do they know? It's the That's question. the problem. Said, That's the problem. Know, like, you know. They have a train for a whole year. They put all the coal and steam into it. Movie comes out and it just goes poof. Bruv, look. And let's just roll into the next topic, man. And let's see, you got more on Aquaman. Uh, poof. Uh, it's another DC topic anyway. So, Josh Whedon leaves Batgirl. I am so happy about this. I also think man's a double agent. Okay, okay, okay. In fact, you have to embellish on both of these. Firstly, <laughs> why are you so happy? Wait, no. Why is he? Why yeah. is he a double agent? Like he did the Avengers, one of the biggest, bestest Marvel MCU like films out there. And Avengers too. He did Avengers too as well. Mm-hmm. That was decent. It was alright. Yeah, right. yeah. Then he goes and does Justice League, and it, now obviously he tried to do what he didn't like with the Snyder Cut, and we never really know what that was, but. It was a mess. Justice League was a mess. Yeah. So him going to do Batgirl, I wouldn't really be feeling that. See, like, <laughs> I know we joke around, you know. Uh, Ryan went to mess up DC, you know. Nah, like. Oh, he, was the, he, was, he was the guy who did um, Superman Returns. He was the director. Sure. Uh, he was the director. Because he, did, he did one of the X Men movies. For Marvel, for Fox. Oh, why can I not remember his name? Then he went to do Superman Returns. Yeah. That movie was bad. Then man went... Come back to do X-Men. It was bang. And he's like, sorry, what? How does this make any sense? Yeah. These guys are coming from Marvel. DC's thinking, hmm, these guys are good. Let's pick them up. And then they destroy the franchises for them. <laughs> DC, how are you not... Let, don't, just don't. Pick up that's, a new guy. Yeah. He wants to do the, the, the creative business. Don't come and get these guys from Marvel. They're, Marvel's in their back here saying, we'll pay you double what they're paying for their fees. Mess up their stuff. Listen, listen. listen you got found that. I got, I got, I got, <sighs> I got two words for you. Mickey, Max. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Give him that cheddar, yo. That's it. Uh, that's all I got. So, but it is interesting because everybody's, you know, everybody's going on about it. But, I don't want to believe that my guy would just jump ship just to, like, you know what I'm saying, but... Conspiracy theory. <laughs> I've got one. Go on. So, yeah. I think that girl, one, isn't going to happen, ever. Two, was never going to happen. And three, was a plan. Mm. Now, I'm at DC, Warner Brothers, whatever. Man, we need to fire Zack Snyder. And we need to bring Josh Whedon in to take over Mm -hmm. so we say hey we're gonna let Josh Whedon make the Batgirl movie because they spoke about this before he took over for Justice League yeah Yeah? so Josh (laughs) is like oh yeah I'm coming over for Justice over for Batgirl cool comes over now they've got him on board and everyone is excited that Josh Whedon is now part of the DC he's gonna help fix DC then the report comes out that oh Josh Whedon's gonna be you know, working with Zack Snyder. Then, two twos, Zack Snyder's out, Josh Whedon's redoing the whole movie. And then, after Justice League's out, 
oh, Josh Whedon's leaving Batgirl and no new director has been named to replace mm-hmm. because that was all bogus. Like, right. was that was to, just to a, wheel him in? That was the, not to wheel him in. I feel like he was part of it. He knew that like they said, oh, we're going to apply this release saying you're going to direct Batgirl, but then you're not going to do it. Like after, the, after, Justice League, after we get past Justice League, we're just going to say, oh, you're going to step away from it, blah, blah. And it's never going to happen for him. Like, bruv. They said this Batgirl thing was going to happen, what? It was like almost a year ago, fam, yeah? Mm-hmm. And Josh Whedon was attached to it. No cast was ever directed. All these Lindsay Lohan rumours was coming out, which was a joke. Like, no, like, no, like, no process. Like, so, no, no, nothing happened. Like, even him on a report, when he, when they let him go, he put out a statement saying, oh, I failed to come up with a story. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Don't you have a story before you get signed yeah, on to exactly. direct the yeah, movie? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Like, fam, it's dodgy, fam. This is just more DC prop. To me, this is more DC propaganda, fam. But propaganda, help me understand. Propaganda to what? Like, to what's the, what's so the listen, end game here? The end game is, you can't just bring Josh... You, they can't just say, Zack Snyder's fired, Josh Whedon's doing Justice League movie. People will go nuts. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So instead, they made up the story that he's going to direct Batgirl. To get him in. Right. And people were happy about that because Josh Whedon does female characters amazing or whatever, whatever, right. whatever, yeah. So you've got him in. You know what I'm saying? They just need an excuse to get him into the house right. to let him take over for Zack Snyder. And I feel like that's where the propaganda is, fam. And then to get rid of Zack Snyder. Yeah. yeah. And now Zack Snyder's gone and he's leaving Batgirl. So what's Josh Whedon actually ever done for them? Oh, Justice League. The only thing they actually wanted him to do, fam, is mad. Yeah, see, like I get what you're saying, but it still don't make like they. It doesn't like, make sense. Nothing whole, makes sense. Yeah. Whole house is and just, it can, yeah, it continues to not make sense because this is what they do, fam. Like, and this is why they want a Batgirl movie because one in the Batman movie, then in the Nightwing movie, then in the Batgirl movie. Listen, why is there so much Batman saturation? The thing is, yeah, like I'm sorry to all the Batgirl fans or whatever, but like what, like there's. We're not in the place where we need a Batgirl movie. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, man ain't even established Jim, Jim Gordon. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, we haven't established... We ain't even established... Who is Batman right now? Because Ben Affleck team... Can we... Can someone answer that question first? Because Matt Reeves is supposed to be directing a trilogy of Batman movies. I don't even know who Batman what is, is trilogy? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. So, like, what is... Bruv, listen. This whole uh, DC thing's mad, bro. Yeah, I'm, about, I'm so. just gonna stick to my animated movies, and that's that. Because that seems to be the only good thing they tend to do, and be consistent with. <laughs> God, listen, I want to hear more conspiracy th- guys. If you've got conspiracy theories, or if you actually believe you know the real facts, jump in the comment section below. Let us know. Just let yeah, us know. If you have an inside what's, man. What's Josh Whedon doing, fam? And then I heard them talking on Collider that Josh Whedon was at a Black Panther premiere with like all the Marvel directors. No way. And I was just like, mm, imagine who could be directing a Black Widow movie. <laughs> the guy who's directed her in every movie she's been in. Oh, but We think it would be good if Marvel gets like, Zack Snyder. Be like, Zack Snyder? Yeah. I just don't think they're going to do it. Fam. No, I think they would, but... No. I would love them to do it, but Zack Snyder needs... He needs like Zack Snyder needs to do an R-rated superhero movie. He needs to yeah, go back to man. his Watchmen like, stuff. Like Watchmen, um, yeah, man. Yeah, fam. Because like, like, I just feel like this this PG thirteen. Uh, maybe it's not just the rating. Maybe it's just DC. Like, uh, maybe he needs to go and do like an independent movie. Like, yeah. I'm gonna say like Soccer Punch, not like that movie. That movie's garbage, yeah. but just a movie that's. Are not you, are, connect- you gonna, are you gonna let him talk about your movie like that? First? That's not connected. He don't, he don't like soccer. Punch. I like I like the action. It's not one of my movies though. It's a oh, popcorn yeah, it's, flick, it's, 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 popcorn. That's it. You find out yet? You tell. I don't it. know what that means. So you get me. I feel so like he should. Part, yeah. He should. He should do a super. He should, <laughs> he should do a superhero movie that's not connected to any big franchise or something like that. It's something made up. Something oh, like Chronicles. It, it's. You know what? It's a, It's such a. It's such a shame how, like, so he gave us the Watchmen. Bruv. Like he gave us Man it. of Steel, fam. Man of Steel is my one of my top five comic books of all time. But, that movie is a banger, bro. Batman vs Superman's good as well, fam. Like, I just don't get it. Why? Why is it? It's such a disarray. Like why is it so bad? Like, Suits. Bruv, they're, eh? just co- Suits. they're just trying to copy this, bro. They're just trying like when you're just trying to copy someone else, you like when you're trying to copy someone else, you can't do it because you haven't taken the steps 
to be in a position to do what that person's done. That's why everything's in disarray. This is why every time something happens, they're like, oh no, throw the baby out with the bath water, like, fam. So, so Warner Brothers is the studio that owns this, this franchise. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole... Warner Brothers owns DC. DC. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Something needs to be done because we're, we're, I feel we're missing so much good movies, so many good characters that is like, it's, it's frustrating whenever we like just talking about this like it's just my energy is just off key right. it's, just, it's just like man like and I don't know man. maybe because I, I read so much so many like DC and I like it so much that when it comes to me I'm like why are you not this great like why why are you like this mm. it's just it is sad you know because I'm thinking it's like right now like everything the comic book thing is still booming like there's potential like DC could like miss the whole oh. they could miss the whole wave oh. like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I was even thinking the other day, I was just like, why don't they just, just scrap the whole cinematic universe and just, just do normal movies? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, just just give the movies to random directors and let them just make random movies not connected at That's all. Like, it. That's do you know it. what I'm saying? Let, let Matt Reeves do... that suit. Yeah. Like, just... You know, yeah, like, let, let Matt Reeves make three Batman movies in his own world, in his own dimension. That's and it. let someone else do something else and something else and something else. You remind like, me, do you think Nolan started this whole palaver? Like, he made such a good Batman trilogy that they were like no it's not Nolan's fault fam it's not Nolan's fault at no. all it's not man was a man of steel as well bruh it's not Nolan's <laughs> fault fam how are you going to blame Nolan all he did was Made create three movies. masterpieces yeah. and then help make another masterpiece in Man of Steel fam and he kicked him out too De- no I'm sure he left because he was like, yeah, D- what? Yeah, he saw, he saw yeah. this kind of stuff. <laughs> he's not, it Nolan is Listen, made no Inception. Listen, he saw exactly, what was happening exactly. and said, I'm going to go make yeah. Dunkirk shout yeah. you, man. You Later, man. I'm out. Get me, peace, do Hold it down. Get me, fam. He knew what was going on. But I think Zack Snyder saw that as an opportunity. Oh, he's out. Let I'm going to take over this, not knowing that these lot are just over there looking over the, the fence at Marvel like, Zack don't look like theirs it don't look like theirs <laughs> you know what I'm saying and then now he's out uh, get me so bruv oh man I don't know you yeah, know what you shame. know what yeah, it's, this you, really you, has sucked the life you, out of me you, you bruv I'm telling you man it's, it's depressing it's actually depressing like you might as well put out the, anima- the animation movies because we'll get way more satisfaction and a lot more content and development through that I don't even want to get started on that because obviously right. Marvel putting out into the Spider Verse. Hey, listen. Like, if they, bro, it's done. It's over. It's a wrap already. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> and again, this year as well. Listen, and the thing, what's mad is like, obviously, Batman Ninja looks sick here. Yeah. But if you would, let's do. What, what do you think's gonna bring him more money? Batman Ninja or Spider Man into the Spider Verse? Yeah, Spider. I mean, yeah. Listen, that's Spy- about to be Black listen, Panther all listen, over again. Spider Man, <laughs> Spider Man, is 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 every kid's every kid. That's Sp- Spider Man's everything. Right. It's everything. Like it's bigger than Superman being anything. It's Spider Man. So smart. It's it's it's. Oh. it's, it's, it's I, I can't even talk. I can't even talk about it. It's a wrap. Look, look, guys. This is this is what happens when we actually try to give you a DC conversation, a banter, but clearly it just sucks the energy out of us because it's just it's just you know so we, the we, force is just all wrong. We need to get to something positive. Still got the comics though. Comics. We need to get to. To something positive. Let's go to something positive, guys. We love reactions. We know that you guys love reactions too. Yeah, Stardust time. Yeah, Stardust. It's Stardust. It's Stardust. All right. Wait. So oh. wait, is it Stardust? Reaction... Wait, is it way way swap I, th- I just felt, I just felt like because Sam was running the show, he was just gonna. Oh, run it. Okay. he was gonna run it anyhow. All right, so, cool. Just do, do your do, thing. Do your do, do, do your thing, big fella. Do your thing, buddy. Anyway, so. What's your reaction for today? Trailer is. He was um, going to show some Incredibles, but I feel Incredibles. like we've got. I, I need to talk to these guys about Stardust. Mm-hmm. Like guys, there's this thing called Stardust. It's an app you can get on iOS or iOS or what's the other one? Android. Android. Or Android. Yeah. That don't thing. don't act like you don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, say it. Say with your chest, Android. Disrespect. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So you can get on both of these platforms. Um, what this app does, it tells you, it gives you reactions to everything so on there if you download the app and follow the cyber nerds first very important link below um we give you our reactions to everything that we don't give you reaction to on our youtube channel 
Obviously, we'd love to edit and chop up videos for you all day, but we don't have enough Patreons for that. So right now, what we're doing is we we do record thirty second, well up to thirty second reactions, and we put it on Stardust. So I think I watched what have I been watching? The Sinner. Mm -hmm. I think you Blackish. Blackish. I've Ooh. been watching Blackish as well. Um, we watched. What did we watch? Uh, oh, Cloverfield. the Cloverfield oh. Paradox. Reactions to that oh, on there. Movies you guys been watching? Everything. Netflix, man. Netflix. Yes. Get me. Nice. So, guys, Raven drops reactions on there as well. So, if you want to see him, he's there too. So, that's it. But right now, we're, it's Incredibles, isn't it? Incredibles, yeah. yeah so, we got a couple of reactions for that. There's one of them. So the Incredibles 2 trailer dropped and I've been waiting 15 years for a second movie. I love the first one. And this one is looks really interesting. I kind of like the direction that they took with Elastigirl being in the spotlight and the rest of the family is home. Well, being a family and they kind of seem split up again. And I'm curious to see who the threat is and how these this family is going to come back together and overcome it again. It just looks really good and I can't wait to see how Incred Mr. Incredible raises the kids and how he plays dad. So as usual, as you can see, pretty excited, like I'm not surprised. Like who who doesn't want Incredibles to come back? It's been such a long wow. way. 15 years of like, Incredibles. Way wow. too long. Wow. Way too it's long. Actually, I'd that. I'd it's actually that. picked up my mood from talking about DC, <laughs> just, just having that superhero family banter, like, do you know what I'm saying? Good. Making that someone else happy. Look, man, let's just run to another one right now. Let's go. Boom! The Incredibles was probably one of my favorite childhood movies, and it's definitely one of my favorite Pixar movies. So I'm so excited for this, and I have been since they announced this. This trailer looked so good. Uh, it looks like the core of it is still going to be about family, which is what the first one is about, is about, and that's what makes it so good. So yeah, I'm incredibly excited about this. <laughs> did not mean to do the pun, but I did anyway, and I'm proud of it. Again. Who's not excited for Incredibles, right? Like, who's not excited for Incredibles? Bro, when yeah? you put out good content, it makes people happy. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, just lines the room. I'm just, I'm room. just saying, I'm just saying. Uh, like, maybe DC like, should take a page out of that. Oh, it's still too late. <laughs> I know, look, there's no way gonna get tore apart in the comments. Uh, These guys hate oh, getting shit. Oh, blah, blah, it, blah. Bring blah, it. Blah, 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 blah. Justice League was better than Black Panther. Blah, blah. Yeah. Talking about comments though. <laughs> Best comments? Oh, let's Oh, let's is that time? Is yeah, that time? Yeah. time? Best comments. Who's got some comments? Oh, no. where's, where's mine? Oh. <laughs> Stamps with the phone skip pulled oh, out. Oh, yeah, Raven, you want to go first? Oh. Ugh, don't, ugh, don't mind me. Hold on, let me pull mine. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> now, if I get to find. Oh, I get to cheat again this week. Man stays cheating every uh, week, fam. Because the comment's so good, like, you have to give, you know, you have the first part, then you have the second part. So, uh, so this week we got from Paul Hatterley, who um, commented on our a Black Panther spoiler-free review. Shout out to you. Thank you for watching us. And... So he's talking about our, uh, so we have a new rating system, which is the SOFA system. We got a new rating system? Yeah. What? Oh, my God. We give, we give, you know, instead of stars and, and one out of five or seven out of ten, we just, you know, we have SOFAs, like five SOFAs. And new one is the broken SOFA. So if you get five, you get a broken SOFA. So you've literally broken the SOFA because it's that good. <laughs> Because Joel breaks sofas, that's what he does. Right? Uh, actually, you broke the sofa. Nah, but anyway, you broke the sofa. Guys, go watch the Black Panther trailer reaction. The one with me and Just Geek Sensei. And, and please write who broke the sofa. Anyway, yeah. but yeah. I, yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, when I saw that comment, I actually started laughing out loud. Because I was like, that is mad, you know. Because the Black Panther trailer is probably one of the best trailers we've ever seen. And we broke the sofa. Yeah. So if a movie is that good, like you'd be jumping up and down like an idiot. Yes. And break your sofa. So five out of five. Broken sofa, I love them things. Correction. Stuff. You You'd jumped like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. And you broke the sofa. Guys. But yeah, cool. Yeah. But Paul says, um, yeah, really bad films shouldn't be a zero so far. I guess, yeah, it makes sense. And it should be broken Black Panther trailer so far. Broken and destined for the bin. LOL. But then, I don't know, one of you guys replied. And it comes back with, actually, you're probably right. So excited. It was so good. 
We broke the sofa, fam. Five out of five. I like it. Movies break, bro. Uh, and this way, the 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 the, the bit where he, he he came through with it. He says, movie uh, movies break, bro. bro uh, movies break box office records. The cyber nerds break sofas. Mad team. I like that's that. Nice. Hey, that's I a quotable like right that. there. I yeah, didn't even right. see that. That's we might, a we, you know what? It might, that might have to go on a t-shirt, you know? Wow. Well, that, <laughs> that might have to go on a t-shirt. That's a portable right there. Hey, like that, nice. that might go on like a t-shirt. Like like big, that. big, big. I like that. Shout out to you, Paul. Is it me? I think right, it is. Cool. So, uh, my comment is from... Apologies. Uh, Esteban Tinoco. And short and sweet. 14k subs let's go <laughs> that's the comment so obviously we just passed 14k maybe like a couple days ago guys i just want to take time to thank all of you guys for locking in we love you guys thank you for hitting the subscribe button share us help us get to 15 16 17 and just break everything we've got goals to hit so help us get there appreciate it and love you guys man can't say it enough love it love it love it so my comment, obviously, you know, I've got to love myself in that. You get me? Here we go, bath water and that. Oh. So it's from Forbes Fortune, Brian. He says, if Sam doesn't do the intro from now on, we riot. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> my next the, the whole thing. Yeah, of course, bro. Just, you know, you nah. got to do the thing, innit? You get me? Guys, I want a hashtag going on. Like, if you guys put a free word hashtag, in the description or the comments down below, I'll do it in the next time I'm hosting. <sighs> no one wants you doing the intro. <laughs> and no. I'll say it as well. So it won't be We Are Live, it'll be Sam's the best. Something like that. You know, just get it rolling, just get it rolling. You know what I mean? No, fam. And I'll shout out. I'll shout out you as no, well. Yeah, no, same, same, no, same, 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 Sam, Sam's the best. What's, what's going on here? You've got to rate my soul. This guy's soul. putting deep stress on my heart right now. <laughs> I love yourself sometimes, you know. Wow, what is oh. he listen? From since that comment about bathing Sam in bath water or Sam yes. I want Sam to be no, my black no, no. He's lost his mind, you know. Yeah. Blueberry oh. Hill wanted to oh. bathe Sam yeah. and make him his black oh. I still don't know what that means. Still don't know. What my that mind's out there, Sam, we're stranded. It's alright. Oh, but, but more love. Oh, what you got? Go on. You guys here, yeah, you guys make me sick to my stomach. You what have I done now? You guys make me sick to my stomach. Oh, First yeah, of all, yeah. where is my gift? Where is my present? Oh. I know. I know you guys forgot. I didn't forget. You guys make me sick. I didn't forget. Where is my cyber nerds anniversary present? I spent hours editing videos. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. While Cinderella over here goes to sleep, Mr. Fat Man over here stays eating. Hey, hey, hey. sleeping beauty, thank you very much. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I don't get my TCN third anniversary gift. Yeah. Guys, if you didn't know, it was our third birthday. I think. Well, so let me get this right. I think <clears throat> we've been putting videos on YouTube. For two years. For two years. I think two whole years now. Um, our, us being the cyber nerd started a year prior to that. So it is actually the TCN's third birthday. And it's our Facebook group, which is now called the cyber nerds. What used to be called something that we shall not name. That's now six years old. So, six. Like, so yeah, we've been like, on this journey for six years, but officially three yeah well i feel like the road started in like wait 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 i'm not know. getting this wrong Listen, i don't know what you We're guys the same about. year bro i don't know what you guys are talking about right now Wait, so the best man doesn't even know the... No. the wow. Oh, man, See, that's what you get for not picking Hey, wait, 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 wait. Bleep that. Bleep those. Yeah? No, real stuff, real stuff. Bleep those. I know you guys are going to be... Yeah, no, bleep those. Bleep. Are you going to do it? Yeah. Bleep those, bleep those. Uh, All right, cool. Cool. Now, yes, I know they're going to be mad as well. <laughs> I know you're going to be mad as well. Bleep those. Bleep those. No, yeah, but yeah. Um, I know you two didn't get me a gift. But you got us one. 
Oh, you? Big, big or something. Uh, look at this. Man. Our TCM fan gets a gift. Now, uh, before going on, shout out to, I would like to give a shout out to Cineworld for the complimentary gift. Team Unlimited. Team Unlimited. Only us do, not Sam. Sam doesn't watch movies. That's why those two hands. Those yeah, two yeah. Games, makes no game. sense. We try, we've been trying to get him since, oh wait, but yeah. So, since this is your show this week, Ooh. you get to tell what they get. So guys, inside the box, oh, it's open. It is open. I couldn't help myself, sorry. You, well, there's two. There is two, not just one, two. So we're two lucky winners. Drum roll. It's gonna break everything. Put it over here. She is. You get yourself a little Hulk mask. So for just one of you, two of you. And I guess this is where we introduce our Patreons. We'll be sliding across right here. Patreons? Yeah, because oh. we love them. We love them so much. Thanks for being our Patreons. You keep the lights on, you keep the content flowing, you keep us smiling with your, you know, your posts and your questions and your everything and you guys get entered in automatically you do nothing we, you, you do yeah. something yeah but you, yeah. you do nothing so guys so wait wait whoa. wait 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 whoa. wait wait run this back so mm. if you're a patreon mm -hmm. you literally do nothing yep mm -hmm. but you're in the competition already that's right yeah. so they're already in the, like their names are all in the hat that's already that's yeah. right and they've done nothing yeah mad team that's that's how it goes so for the unfortunate ones who want to be fortunate, if you want to enter the competition and win some Hulk masks, all you have to do is go onto our Twitter page, follow, retweet. What are they retweeting? But they're, they're It'll be like a little post uh, about this show with this link. And do your team. There you, there you go. So you've got to retweet and like the link to this show. Yes. So watch out for the link. To this show on our Twitter page. That doesn't seem very difficult. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. We, we might pin it to the top just we to help them out. Just, or, we, or we might not. I think you just follow and then as soon as the link flop, like, comes up, get yourself a mask. Alright, yeah. cool. I like Hulk. He's one of my favourites. Especially in that movie too. Yeah. So guys, that's Nerd Banner. I'm Sam Mr Blitz Tech. And I'm Raven the GS. I'm Joe, one third of the Cyber Nerds. And we'll see you on the next Nerd Banter. Peace. <laughs>